So here we are, we have a, another nice morning and I came out this morning to pick some peas, but just thought I'd give you a little walk around also when I'm done here. And you can see I put up a batch of flags here for flag day and uh, everything is really doing great. So now we're gonna have to look at the peas and you can pretty much see, well, these are hanging outside the fence, but some nice plump ones there, ready to go. Uh, not all the plants made it, but the ones that did really did good. Now these seem to be the best I've ever had in uh, peas, and these are the seeds that I used. I tried a different one, Lillian's caseload, this year, and I'm not sure if you can really see the amount of peas on each of these plants but it's really pretty amazing. And you can see some of them are nice and plump and ready to pick, so let's pick some peas. So I'm just gonna pick the real nice, big fat ones here. You can pretty much tell by squeezing them if the pods are full and ready to be picked. Although the baby ones are good too, but you get a couple less. Pretty much you can see it's not really a gigundous picking, but couple quarts there so we should have peas and we'll be picking them every two days probably for the next uh, couple of weeks I just wanted to show you what these peas look like it's a really nice form peas and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Let's think there's between eight and ten peas in every pod and they are super sweet and delicious now, one other thing that I decided to pick today is, for some reason, I've had this rogue lettuce plant growing in my onions. And, trying to pull that out, and oh my god, what a lettuce plant that is. That is just amazing. I didn't, I didn't plant it, it just came up from last year's seeds, I guess, in the compost. Okay, so now let's take a little walk around. And there you can see uh, my okra. And I did have to plant that a second time, that cold killed the original one. Um, the eggplants, they look better. Those marigolds are fantastic. Those are the seeds I saved from last year's giants and they're just getting so big. But again, you can see the eggplants pretty chewed up by the flea beetles, but they're starting to look pretty good. Could give them a little while longer. And the onions are starting to get some bulbs on them. You can see down there, they're looking good. Uh, Swiss chard, we keep thinning and eating and thinning and eating, we can't catch up with it. The same with the beet greens. Just some little tiny beets in there, but you know, most of it's greens right now. And then the three bins of carrots here. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just thinning them and we're using the smaller ones for now. Let's go around the other side here and peppers are all doing good. These are the ones that I use peat moss to mulch them and that seems to be working out all right. Zucchini plants are really starting to pick up and get big and again the marigolds are just amazing and the garlic look seems to be doing good a little bit of brown tips on it. I don't know what causes that but otherwise it looks good and those potatoes I planted only a couple of them germinated but looks like we'll have a you know a couple nice potatoes and the yellow squash really are taking off now And let's look at some of the tomatoes. You can see I got some of the tomatoes pruned back and tied up now. And um, the shallots, 
that bin is just cra crazy full of shallots. They're really doing good. Uh, here's some more of the peppers and everything's really just starting to take off now. And I've um, got my first little tomatoes on some of the plants. You can see uh, these are like the little Principe ones for the drying. And they're doing doing good all tied up now. And same thing, some more tomatoes down here. And tomatoes there and don't know if you can see it, but there's some cucumbers I actually threw in up against those chalices for the tomatoes or the cukes to grow on. And then again we've got more peppers. And they're all doing good. Look, looks like the Belgium reds will be the first peppers that we eat. You can see there, you know, there's some nice peppers on them and they're starting to catch up there. And let's go around the outside edge here. Now that row of peas I just picked was the, um, just the regular peas and Back here are some of the snap peas where you eat the, uh, the shell and all. So they're a little bit behind the other peas and I did lose quite a few of the plants if you look around. But um, we should be having them in a couple weeks. Uh, basil's all starting to come in and cilantro's kind of spotty but you know we should have a good harvest for our needs. And those are the black panther edamames that are doing good so far and these are some of the cantaloupes I planted in this corner it should be a nice melon and again that's a uh, snow peas back there so they should be next after these other peas are gone and this is where the, uh, the regular peas are there's 24 feet of them in rows and uh, you can see there's still, even though I picked them, there's still a ton that'll be ready in a day or two. And some more cucumbers down there. They should start growing up the fence once uh, the peas are out. And again, here's some dill in the front here. And that's kind of spotty, but doing good. I think that cold weather hurt the germination some that we had. And then there's some cukes coming in there and you know they got some bug damage but they should they should grow out of it and again more peas and then here's just a couple plants of a uh, the strike beans that we plant so they're looking really good okay then we'll go out here you can see I still haven't gotten around to finishing the water up yet that's next on the list and the strawberries are doing good. I actually am picking off all of the flowers to start out with. It's supposed to help the plants get a stronger roots in the beginning. And I'm not sure if you really have to do it or don't, but I'm doing it. Uh, sweet potatoes are doing pretty good. They're starting to catch up now. I did lose a couple of the plants. It looks like I lost two of them here, but the other ones are taking on and I think it was that cold weather we had the other night we had another one of those 40 degree nights they don't seem to like that and here's the other bed that's looking pretty good too and this is my sweet corn here and that's coming along fine I almost got that compost bin filled up again Amazing how fast that goes down when you fill it up. But again, I've got those marigolds planted that I saved the seeds from the giant one last year. And looks like we're gonna have some more giants out here. I just tried some of them in the five gallon buckets there and looks like they're doing good and they like it. So I just thought I'd do a, you know, pea picking final up, or June update today and let you see where everything stands right now. And on the way back up to the house, I thought I'd stop and show you the pear trees. They're all doing good. Now this is that one little seckle pear that looked like it wasn't going to make it. 
and all of a sudden one day it just came to life I couldn't believe it and uh, looks like it's gonna survive now there's some um, um, I've got some butternuts and some uh, pumpkins up here some more sunflowers and you know you can see pretty much all the pear trees look good now and I've got some big sunflowers started I know what I'll be doing the next hour or so now uh, shucking these peas and boy they are beauties uh, glad I tried that type really beautiful big uh, full pods Boy, am I slow at this. Okay, so now let's see what the final weight is. Okay. One pound, 5.9 ounces, almost one pound, six ounces. That was pretty good for a first first pick in there and they sure are beautiful each and every one of them if anybody knows an easy way to get those little stems off leave a comment below please so I just really wanted to do an update on uh, you know picking these peas and uh, they definitely are the best peas that we've ever grown we ate that batch of them tonight for dinner and oh my god were they good so tender and sweet and just great flavor so I'll definitely be planting them again um, first time I've tried them and uh, I'll go back to them again forever now so you know here you can see pretty much everything growing doing good growing you know normally and uh, hopefully next time I'll be showing you some pictures of uh, you know harvesting some other items but in the meantime we'll be enjoying the peas thanks for watching please subscribe